Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail with a brief channel update. First off, I want to thank you all for continuing to watch and continuing to view, and for those of you that have subscribed for a while, the support's meant a lot. And so far, the series that I've been doing has been going pretty well. I know some people are saying Scrolls is dying, but they've been saying that since release. The people who have been watching Scrolls have been very passionate and adamant about it. And I really appreciate you all's continued support. Also, the uh, FTL challenge runs that I've been doing have breathed some new life and interest in the game for me because after playing for a few hundred hours, you start to wonder, do I keep doing this? Although I still haven't won with the NGB, but by all means, keep sending those challenge run suggestions. It is making for some very interesting playthroughs. Another thing I wanted to talk about, though, was the viewer choice series, of which I've had two so far. One is Lords of the Realm 1, which the last video of it will be uploaded later this week, and the other is Dark Souls, and if you haven't been watching my numbers, you may have noticed that Lords of the Realm has more views and better audience retention than Dark Souls, and I find that pretty interesting. Part of that, I'm sure, has to do with uh, saturation on YouTube. Lots of people are playing Dark Souls, but still, I think it's interesting that people still want to watch even an old DOS game that as we go into in the final episodes you can see there are some pretty significant flaws and I did have my nostalgia goggles on looking forward but I do want to submit to you all another viewers choice opportunity I'd like to give you all a chance to vote and see uh, what you all might want to play here so I have two options for you today they are both obscure titles that appeared as third-party offerings on Nintendo consoles are two of my favorites from two different generations so let's go ahead and take a look. Tell me what you think. Feel free to vote in the comments, same as normal. So the first one, as you can see, this wonderful image of nature taking course was known as Animal Leader in Japan. It is Cubivore, Survival of the Fittest, a game that takes on the sort of evolution adventure style to a whole new weird level. You play as essentially a cube or a block, and your job is to go around eat things, kill things, mate with things, and slowly but surely restore the wilderness from creatures who are destroying the wilderness and taking the wildness away from the land. And to do this, you must jump, you must bite, you must attack, evolve, and more importantly, eat, maim, and kill things. And when you kill them, you mutate and you turn into something else. The game goes a lot of interesting weird directions. I really like it and uh, it's something that I'd be interested in playing for you all because it is a very, very different game. Of course, it's not the only game that's being offered here. The other option is, at least after Xenoblade, my favorite game on the Wii, Little King Story, a very, very mature, dark game dressed up in Kitty's clothing here. It is very much like Pikmin. That's a comparison you'll hear a lot, in that you play one person. You have, you're have you a little king, and you have your little kingdom that you're slowly building up. And you have plenty of townsfolk, interesting people to meet, and more importantly, townsfolk that you can send with you to do certain jobs and then unfortunately as you go through the wilderness certain things attack you now this is just kind of scratching the surface of the game but it is a uh, very just pretty game but more importantly you can send them out to their demise collect loot get gold and more importantly than that improve your kingdom because you have certain goals you need to get through your kingdom starts out as a ramshack with cobwebs but you can build it up get all kinds of upgrades so there's a lot of interesting things going on in Little King's Story. Lots going for it. And like I said, it really took me off guard with just how mature it was. But there we go. There's two options for viewer's choice. So I would appreciate you all voting. But there is one more thing I want to talk about with you all. And it is a touchy subject. And I know it's going to get some negative reactions here. But unfortunately, due to circumstances that have been going on, I am going to at least make an attempt to see where it goes, just experiment with possibly putting advertising in my videos. And I know that's something some of y'all don't like, but this is a situation where I just need to see for my own uh, well-being, unfortunately. If it's something that can be viable at this point, I have a feeling it's not going to be, but I'm at least going to give a brief experiment to see what happens when I advertise with videos and chances are if it's successful I'll try and keep it to a minimum if it's not successful then the advertising will go away but I did just want to take the time to give you all a heads up on that instead of just straight putting it up in there although I know not everyone's gonna watch this video and it's gonna take some people off guard but I do appreciate you all's understanding with this I will say that some of the lags and content I've had recently is because I've been busy with what I've been trying to do, but unfortunately it hasn't been going as successfully as I'd hoped. But otherwise, you know what, let's just keep it positive for now. I do appreciate you all's viewership, and this is kind of a bright spot in what has been going on. I do like the growth that I've been seeing. It's growth. This channel's grown a lot more than I expected. 
uh, just given in the year I've started really dedicating time to it. But yeah, there's uh, two options for viewers' choice, Cubivore and Little King Story. Feel free to vote or just say your comments in general. Appreciate you all's viewership. Definitely stick around, keep watching. I hope you all enjoy it, and I look forward to doing plenty more of this in the future. Take care.